Okay, so I checked back to the uh, other Gaia Gates, or the Gaia Gates that we have currently, and we have one special door to go through in the Missouri one. Um, there's none that we need to go to for Apatos yet, and the um, remaining doors so far seem to require a lot of um, medals at this point, so probably won't be seeing those for a while if I even get all those, because again, I don't know for sure I'm going to get all the medals in this game, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but, yeah, I need to explain some stuff. So, I don't know why it's showing up as a GameCube controller, uh, Brown, Brown Prompts there, but basically what, what's um, kind of made, kind of been making me postpone from recording this play for a lot is because recording on the Wii is is really oh that was that was really glitchy looking um recording the Wii for me has been really um annoying in the sense that it kind of just decides to work when it feels like it um i've been using um a Wii to hdmi converter i have two of them but i had the Wii to hdmi one the the um big bulky blue one oh, not blue the big bulky white one um and i had a bunch of issues with that and i tried buying another one which i have plug in plugged into the wii right now and i failed let's try that again um uh and it's, most of the time it works but a majority of the time it just doesn't um and even after even after like changing the HDMI cable and like switching between that one and the old HDMI converter a lot of the, a lot of the time it just kind of um, does what it it kind of just works when it wants to um, and I'm honestly tired of having to do with that every time I want to record this version of the game so I decided if I'm gonna switch to using the Wii U, I'm gonna have to make this decision right now because otherwise um, I'm not gonna be happy like going through halfway through the game and then switching to using the Wii U. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. I switched to the Wii U. Um, I specifically, again, I specifically went to the the Wii the, uh, using the Wii for GameCube controller support because for whatever reason. Um, you can't use game. Okay, yeah, I'm back. Sorry about the weird cut, but we had to go f go through the Amy cutscene that we've already seen in the HD one, but. As I was saying though, for whatever reason on the Wii U, they don't allow you to use GameCube controllers on Wii games that allow that, and I have no idea why. Like, I I could try and mess with the Wii U and like force it to uh, allow, allow GameCube controller support for this, but that requires a lot of effort that I really don't care to do, um, and I just didn't bother. Um, so what, what's happening now, or well, what happened, is that I had to re replay through all the stuff we've already seen. Um, I've done all the missions and I've gotten all the S ranks again. Um, thankfully it didn't take too long because we we only did uh, we only got up to one boss. Um, so yeah, it, didn't, it it wasn't it wasn't too bad. And again, I had to make this choice now when it wasn't um, too demanding to like replay everything as opposed to when we're back all the way up to like Shamar or something and I have to replay all of that stuff um so yeah I had to do all that again and I'm using the classic controller at the moment I was kind of worried that it wouldn't feel too great but um surpri surpri it surprised me how um it's actually not too bad so far like it's gonna be a little bit weird to adjust to this um, setup, but I 
Eh, it, it could be a lot worse, honestly. But yeah, we're just gonna go back here because we need to do the night stage. But yeah, um, one thing that I I've been like trying to work out is like how um, the villagers. Um, actually give you the items on the music tracks um, and I think how it works don't quote me on this but I feel like it usually happens after you've reached a point in the village story so to speak like say like if you activate a prompt or talk to a villager that gives you the tablet um, sometimes one of the villagers afterwards will give you a music track like that. Or it's just repeat, repeatedly talk to them until something happens. I don't really know, but, um, I kind of, most of the time I just, um, talk to everyone, um, until they stop saying something new. And if, like, a new event happens, like, you get a tablet, then I go back, but... Yeah, it seems like that's it. I think I think the village hubs usually only have um, like two or three tracks or so, like or each or uh, each one separately. Um, don't quote me on that because I'm not entirely sure. But they don't usually have that many. Um, it's usually only like a few. Yeah, now we're on the. Another guy gate, and let's just see her. I have—I don't know if it's just me, but I sometimes have an issue uh, knowing which um, symbol represents which continent. I'm pretty sure that this one's Missouri and that one's Apatos, but I don't know. Like maybe it's just me, but kind of. Well, actually. I Let's see here. So I think this is Shema. Actually, no. Um, uh, this one's definitely Holoska. Um, I'm gonna assume that's Adabat. Um, and does I don't remember if Eggman Land has a um, Gaia Gate. If it does, then it's that. Well, let's see. So there's two, four, six. There's six. Um, yeah, I don't know. What's the, uh, oh, whatever, I'm, I'm spending too much time worrying about this. We'll see what happens. Thankfully, I didn't actually, I didn't actually know this, but, um, thankfully Chip isn't going to say, oh, a new, you can open a new door. Because, <laughs> um, that... Would have gone pretty annoying. Oh, just imagine if he did it for every uh, optional guy gate door. Like that would that would have gone really annoying. Um, thankfully, though, I think Chip goes down on the on goes um, slows down a bit on the talking so much in stages now. So I don't think we'll have to worry about that anymore. Um, Hopefully. We'll see what happens, but... Yeah. Um, so, the, the uh, immediate difference between GameCube and the... Um, GameCube controller and the Classic controller is that um, attacks are no longer used by pressing the shoulder buttons. Um, I... Is there a thing up here? Um, I swear I remember, like, a secret on the side somewhere. I guess not. Um, but yeah, the game, game, GameCube controller used the shoulder buttons, whereas the classic controller uses Y and X for the punches and A for um, strong attacks. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he still talks, but, you know. And just for you but yeah it, it's it's a little bit weird to um, get used to also 
throwing is B. I keep thinking this. I keep thinking you have to press A, but it's not, and it's throw. It keeps throwing me off. But besides that, this isn't hasn't been too bad. It, uh, I remember like trying using this control scheme way back when, and just couldn't grasp. <laughs> uh, couldn't get a grasp around it. So yeah, this it's been better than I expected. Um, yeah, ZR is to use the, um, use Unleashed mode. I gotta love that flurry of punches that you do. Like, you do that instead of the, um, what is it, the claw swipe or whatever. And I will, I will give credit for the Wii, to the Wii version for giving you different moves for when you go in, into Unleashed mode, uh, as opposed to the HD version where you literally just get stronger and faster, and I think that's it. So I, I will give credit where, it, where it's true, it, it did, um, it does one-up the HD version in that sense, I guess. Even if it's very a very minor thing, but it does make you feel a little bit stronger, so. You know, it's also just it's also just handy as well for um, quickly uh, getting rid of like strong uh, like enemies that have more health, especially like the mini boss dudes. Um, like you can just shred through the health bars. Um, uh, then again, uh, you can do that in the Wii in the HD one too by using Unleashed by just doing the double punch kick combo. Um, so I guess it's not, I, I guess it doesn't matter too much, but you know, still, you take what you can get. Um, yeah, just get these. Very simple um, collector form thing going on. I, again, I, I, I mentioned this way earlier, but I do, appreciate them putting in those little key things to make you uh, make the player explore a little bit even if it's not always that much like we had to go up some um, buildings and we basically found all of them but hey I do appreciate the, the ex exploration and these bee enemies are the pain of my existence I think they're worse than HD one actually. Like these ones, at least have little. Uh, at least okay, please. <laughs> at least don't have that much health. But the ones in HD, um, those are bulky. Those guys are bulky, and I swear they evade your hits like crazy a lot of the time. Pull the lever, crunk. All right. Get there. Yeah, I, again, I just, I appreciate the fact that there's just tons of stuff to find in these stages in both versions. Um, and while the, while the gameplay itself um, isn't like <laughs> the, the necessarily the most in-depth combat system in the world, um, it's still satisfying enough, like it has good sound effects, the combos work for what they are, and, uh, you know, it, it, I find it enjoyable for what it's going for. It, it definitely could be a lot more fleshed out, but considering it's, like, half of the game, um, I think it, I think they did a pretty decent job, all things considered. Um, like, this could have been a lot more tacked on, I feel. Um, and I get, I, I know some people would argue it is, but I would honestly argue against that because I feel like I feel like that um, for what it's worth, I feel like this is too well done for it to be like quote unquote tacked on. Um, I feel like that's a bad way of saying it. Like I'm not saying you have to like the wet hog. Um, like I get it, it's not for everyone. But I do think it works well. Um, there are some issues I do have with it, um, as we'll. As, and I'll get to those as we get through the game and whatnot. 
Um, but I don't know. I don't. I don't think this playstyle is bad. I I greatly play this over um, like Big or Amy in SA One or. Um, on, <laughs> honestly, I I play it over major the majority of the SA One playstyles. If I'll be frank. <laughs> um, and then, I don't know, man. I might actually, yeah, I, I'd, I'd say I'd rank this above the the uh, mech stages in SA2 as well. Even though I do like those a fair bit, um, I think these are, I don't want to say more rewarding, because the mech stages are hella rewarding to play, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just checking around just to make sure that I didn't miss a, a item somewhere. Cause um, again, those can be easily missed, and I prefer to get as many as possible. I oh, just gotta hear this great music constantly. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure we didn't miss anything. I'm, I'm gonna assume we're good. Yeah, because we're back here, and I will when I drop down the other side, we just loop around, so... I'm assuming that's it. But they are- there is a sneaky back path, so we don't want to get that just yet. There's a lot- good lord. Yeah, there's a lot of items in this stage, goodness. Wait. Is there more? No, wait. Ah. I, if I if I was making this game, I, <laughs> I would have made that a, break, a breakable wall, just to hide something else, but I guess not. I'll be surprised if that's an S rank. Nope. Oh wow! <laughs> we were barely, we barely got that, jeez. Uh. Okay, uh, attack level up, nice. Oh, okay, almost at the next level. That was eight, that was eight items, that's nuts. Okay. But yeah, I, I also checked back, well not, not checked back, but I looked at the mission list, and the game does actually tell you um, what continents or like what um what areas have like missions still need that still need to be unlocked even if you can't see them on your stage select um so i looked at the list and i believe we have two day stages and two night stages for avatars that we need to get to at some point on well that we need to unlock at some point um so that maybe we'll see those in the future but that all depends on if i end up finding the keys for those levels because as you see, as you saw from the last stage, um, from the last stage we played, um, the, the, we got a key that unlocked a special mission somewhere else. Um, so yeah, you'll be needing to find those in stages, and sometimes you'll find them in guy gate doors. Um, and, again, and yeah, they'll, they'll just unlock special missions for you to do, and they can vary in what they are. So... Yes, again, just a added content rewards you for exploring and finding stuff, um, and uh, I, I, I appreciate the game for doing that, because you, um, you get more bang for your buck if you want to, like, collect everything, and, you know, you, can, you can't, you can't fault, you can't, like, say no to the game for trying to give you more game to play, you know? It's um, c completely harmless if you don't want to do it, but if you want more, again, if you want more bang for your buck, you have more missions to play, so you can't really complain for, you can't really complain about that. And I do appreciate how much side content is in both of these versions. Like, again, I, I said it before, but if you want to get um, the full experience, like 100% of these uh, both like these versions you're gonna be uh, going through like 
some of the longest Sonic games to want, uh, to fully complete in the series. Um, like either one of these games is going to take you a crap load of time if you care enough to uh, do do everything. So yeah, if you if you enjoy like the game already, then yeah, you're you're gonna have a a lot of things to do. Um, but yeah. I probably could have made that, but hey. But yeah, one thing that I I I gotta be honest with you, I haven't recorded this game in like um at least a month, <laughs> and I don't really remember the things I've said in previous parts. Um, like I remember vague points, but yeah, there's a lot of things that. And this doesn't even uh, re apply to this game, but just LPs in general. Oh, that was a <laughs> that was actually sick. Um, th this doesn't apply to just this game, but just commentaries L like LPs by myself or with C's. I honestly just forget everything I say in these playthroughs, um, and like that's not a knock. But, um, that's not me knocking, like, any of the games I play. Um, that's just a personal thing. Like, I just don't remember anything I say in these. Um, so, I apologise if that ends up making me repeat myself sometimes. Um, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, but yeah, that, <laughs> in comparison to the last stage, that one was really short. Yeah, sometimes you'll get longer stages, sometimes you'll get shorter ones. Um, you never really know, but... Yeah, that's, um... Believe it or not, I think that's the last, um... Uh, combo modifier in the game. <sighs> Which is kind of sad, but... It is what it is, I guess. It is very handy, though, um... It's also a move in the HD one, but, you know, you take what you can get. Very uh, simple secret there. I will say this, uh, I will say this, um, the Wii version has the advantage of, um, making uh, since it what is it uh, since it basically separates the night stages into three acts um, at the bare minimum it does make it so it can have like more um, it, it's easier for easier for it to have um, stage um, what, what should I call it what was the term um, I'm drawing a blank, like... St stage... It, it, it's easier for it to have, to have um, elements of stages that stick out um, in, in your head. Like, we're platforming around the bridge right now. Um, and since um, the HD one has to just... The, the main stage, anyway. Since it has to be, like, one, one big stage, um, it... Doesn't always, it can't always have um, oh, set pieces. That's what I was gonna say. Um, set pieces. It can't always do that as well because it has to basically mesh it all into one stage. And for the most part, it does it well. But um, this version does have the benefit of being able to separate them and make it so the acts are have like a different thing going on. Like we had th this stage is like platforming over the bridge. Um, Act 1 was like, uh, I guess just generally going through the city and whatnot, where, and then Act 2 was basically a, um, a, uh, hall, uh, corridor beam up stage, more or less. It's, it's definitely the simplest of the three, but, um, it's, that, that's inherently what it's trying to go for. Like, it's trying to be a simple corridor beam up kind of stage. Can you stop getting stuck on that please? Um, 
and I, I think it does I think it does that pretty well um, like not every stage needs to be crazy platform heavy or anything like that uh, it's definitely my least favorite of the three Spurgonia night stages in the Wii version but um, just by nature of it just being nothing but fights essentially minus like um, like some cool secrets here and there with the box plate with, uh, with the placing boxes in places where you can jump up to an item um, but besides that it's fairly straightforward whereas there's a there's a, there's a quite a bit more going on in the in acts one and three um, and and I and I will credit the Wii version in the sense that yes if you add the time up the night stages take longer to beat in this because uh, what is it? Uh, get, getting through all the night stages in the Wii version generally takes more time than playing the one night stage in the HD one. But the fact that it's um, they're all separated stages makes it so the player has the choice between doing it all at once or just doing a couple of them and then coming back later. So I do appreciate that. It, it gives the player some freedom as opposed to having to play like a, a decently lengthy stage in one go. Personally I prefer the personally I prefer the HD version because I feel like the stages like I feel like the stages uh, don't um, go on for too long on I, f I feel better a better way to say it is that um, I feel like the stages um, are just long enough in HD to be satisfying, but not too long to be overbearing. And I know a lot of people would disagree with that, but I, I'm sorry. I just, I don't know. I, th I think, I think the stage length is fine. Um, and I know a lot of people um, have issue with how long the Whitehawk stages are, um, and they compare it to like, okay, okay, okay let's not fall off her. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people compare it to normal Sonic stages and say like, oh, they should be like five, seven to seven minutes long, if that. They don't need to be like 15 minutes or so. And if you're talking about regular Sonic stages, I would agree with you. Like, I think the absolute max should be like eight minutes. But if we're... But you, you have to keep in... You have to... You have to remember here that this is not a regular Sonic stage. This is a beam up kind of level. Uh, kind of level. This is a beam up kind of playstyle um, that's borrowing elements from stuff like God of War and, and so on. And you have to keep in mind that um, those kinds of games like Wonderful One and One Banner, etc., etc., those games have stages that go on for like thirty to forty minutes. And when you keep when you put that into account, um, the these stages are actually really short. Um, so I personally I don't I don't mind the fact that um, the these stages are um, around like fifteen or so minutes long, depending on the stage, of course. But is that the only one we got? Oh, right, right, we got... Uh, we may, may as well do this one c first because it's the, sim it's the simple tutorial one. Uh, but yeah, that will leave us with two more Apatos missions to find somewhere in the game. So that's all... that's all handy.